Hello and welcome to the Talos Principle too. For anybody who is new to my channel, hi, my name is Wade. So nice to meet you. I play a lot of adventure games and puzzle games around here. And one of my favorite puzzle games of all time was the first, the Talos Principle. So I've been very excited for this game. So without further ado, let's jump into it and get started. Choosing a new empty slot here. But yeah, I played all through the Talos Principle 1 and Road to Gehenna, and they were fantastic. The prophet hath no honor in his own country. John 4, 44. Reception. I've always felt that a human being could only be saved by another human being. James Baldwin. Initializing firmware. Firmware functional. Oh, man. It's just like bringing back all the nostalgia from the first game. Loading autonomous program parameters. Loaded system check passed. Initializing memory banks. Starting autonomous process ready. So where is this going to fit into the first game? Is it after? Is it before? Oh, okay. All right. We in, baby. So... All right, we're in Behold, some kind of child. Oh, oh this guy again. Dust, and you walk in my garden. I do. I'm Hear here. Now my voice and know that I am your friend and I am called Elohim. Oh. Be back, baby. Can't can't keep us away for too long. <laughs> Here I am. You can <laughs> you can tell I've still got the mindset from the first game too. Just going around looking for like hidden stars and stuff like that. <laughs> so we use a uh, left shift to sprint, it looks like. And uh oh boy, we've got the uh the the purple gates of doom already. And and one already keeping us out. Okay, alright. So it just feels so weird being back in in the world of of, of Talos. <sighs> Hello, old friend. How are you doing, Big Jammer? I see the uh, the UI uh, looks like it got a, a bit of an update, so so that's uh nice to see. <laughs> I'm trying to think how many years ago it was that uh, first Talos Principle came out. I know it's been a hot minute. All right, so we can use our jammers to. Uh, jam barriers such as that but um those purple barriers if i remember right will prevent us from taking out materials like jammers or cubes hello hello hexahedron you'll always just be a cube to me all right so we can put our handy dandy hexahedron on here I was just like kind of low-key like looking around to see if I could like put it anywhere and like jump <laughs> jump on it and then like get <laughs> I, I don't want to say out of bounds because this this game really does encourage you to think out outside of the box no and no pun intended all right uh I'm I'm going to put the hexahedron on here and and yeah we're we're going to continue It's really so beautiful. Oh. Um, okay, so this way is blocked. Ooh, 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 wow. That, that's a whole lot of desert there. Okay. See anything? I think so. Okay. Oh, are these supposed to be like torches or something? Man, these things are gnarly. They're like cobras. This Oops. land Hope they don't come to life or anything. You will stay here only for a little while. Soon you will awaken in a new world. But first, you must undertake the trials of initiation. They will help me prepare your vessel. Hmm, okay. All right. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh boy, and we got our QR codes. Can we scan them with Do our HUD? Don't be afraid of these dream figures and their messages. They are merely aspects of yourself, as am I, after a fashion. 
I must forge the tools by which humanity will rebuild itself and transform the world into the Eden that it never was. The blacksmith. So he said, like, this is, like, a variation of ourselves or something like that? So, like, am I the blacksmith or was that left by someone else? I would kind of assume someone else based on, like, how the, the you know, those QR codes were from the first game. Like, other people that came before me, but it's hard to say. So we'll find out. Oh, boy. Use a ranger. Well, sadly, I don't have any sigils right now, or Tetris pieces, whatever you want to call them. So we're going to have to be on the lookout for those. But we we, we found our... I was about to say our first door. Um, a, a second? Oh, wow. Okay, well. We're making some fine progress. Third? No way. You in my garden for as long as you wish. Okay. But remember, my child, that the new world awaits you. And this place is only a dream. Well, if I remember right from first game, I think, like, you know, the green doors are, you know, or the green sigils are pretty easy. Yellow is kind of in the middle, and then red is intended to be harder. So if we could find, like, these three ones first, that would, that would probably be good. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, continue over here, and I'm seeing... <gasps> I'm seeing some green sigils. Oh boy. Well, where to begin? We got this here. Oh, look, the sigil's right there. That should be easy. Famous last words. Oh, that looks cool. And then we have this one here. Okay, we'll just, we'll, we'll start over here. Let's do it. This one is cubic steps. Our first puzzle of the game. I'm so excited. <laughs> I hope that my, my, <laughs> I hope that my brain uh, won't be will be too too tired for this. <laughs> okay, so uh, we have a couple of hexahedrons. Make that three hexahedrons. Or cubes, cubes. I just need to like build some stairs up here. Is that what we need to do? Can I maybe like move that over a bit. Oh, you put me out, you you sly dirty dog. I see what you did. Uh, I was really hoping that I could grab it from this side. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know why I need to be on, on you know, the other side to grab it. It's not nice. <laughs> okay, um... So I don't think there's any way to get up here, like, with just these two, right? If I reached out my arms, like, while I'm jumping, I could probably, like, just grab the sigil. Don't even need to get up there, right? Um, oh man. Do you think I could, like, maybe jump from here to there? I was thinking I had to have it closer. That was, in fact, not the well case. Done, my child. Thanks, Dad. Okay. Moving on. Our second puzzle. Oh, that, one, that first one tried to stump me a little bit, but we good, we good, we got it. Fencing. I didn't bring my sword with me. So we have a couple cubes again. We have another one over there. Hmm. Oh, and we have, oh, this too. I didn't even notice this. Okay, so we have you here, but I cannot bring that through the purple wall. So... I guess, you know, the, the thing is, how do we get it over without utilizing the purple wall, I suppose? Maybe. <laughs> uh, let me... Okay, let me, let me play around with stuff first. Can I just jump on here and then can we grab this? We can grab this. Okay, all right. So, we have three now. Can I actually build some proper stairs in this puzzle? I think I'm gonna do it. <laughs> All right, boop, boop, and boop. It seemed like there was a lot more like over here. I was, I was kind of expecting uh, there was going to be more of something, you know, with these stairs and whatnot. And this, and this gate too. Uh, I guess we just need to go back over to to get out. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, not saying that that was like hard to, you know, go back the way I came. I guess like. 
again, I'm still kind of just like of the mindset of the first game. I remember a lot of times when you completed puzzles, like gates would lower and stuff and give you like another way out. But maybe that'll happen later in the game. Within reach. We'll see about that. Okay, so... Oop. Mm hmm. I see. Nothing around here, right? It does not appear there's anything around here. Okay. So we can't bring the cubes just straight through like that. But but probably like what I could do is like jump on here and then grab this and then just put it there. The shapes you are collecting are not mere toys. Oh no, they of course are no, never. Of the process by which our people were created. So was it this one? It was this one. Alrighty. Oh boy, now for the real puzzle. Putting these together. <laughs> okay, maybe not a real puzzle. <laughs> there we go. I'm, I feel like I'm going to really struggle as we get more and more sigils, though, and get to, like, the yellow and red ones. All right. Um, I think I'll start over here. This is static pressure. Interesting. Okay, so I have two cubes over there. They're a little locked up right now. And then you are a fan that we can detach. Doesn't seem like there's anything in that corner. Nothing over there either. I would take my handy dandy van and I'll take a U and do I just want to take you there and then we'll plop you out Boop. and we'll put our handy dandy fan back do I need this cube for something up here well, we're about to find out oh I think I need a like this mm -mm. Mm -mm. Um, so I think I need to like be on you, uh, and I think I maybe know how to do that. So let's do this and then that, and then you. Nice. Oh, too shabby. We'll run out of here. And did this one have? Two? Or I think it's three more. I think three more. Alright, so... Windy day. Don't know, I'm not really feeling a breeze. This fan. And... Wait, are you... Are you already a fan? Oh, okay. Alright, so we have... We have... We have two fans. Well, um... Hmm... Okay, so let's take this cube <laughs> and we will take that off. Uh, I'm gonna put the cube on there now. Take my handy dandy fan over here, put that fan on there, and then go up here. Take a moment to look at the view. Oh, that is so pretty. Man, how many stars do you think are hidden out there? really makes me wonder how this game is going to be because I know in like the the first game there were like like three like factories I think they were labeled like a b and c so I wonder if there's going to be anything like similar with this game single slit experiment single slit experiment I have no idea what that means okay so we have a fan <laughs> That brings us over here. What are you attached to? That's going to blow out that cube, isn't it? Okay, all right, cool. I don't think we can get over to where that other fan is. I don't think so. I also have an area over here that I didn't even check out. Hello, Obelisk, how you doing? And it seems like a suspect area. It's just like, hmm, it doesn't seem to be anything back here. What is the point? It's a red herring. Oh, and we're starting to get into the lasers. 
They mean business. So, so far, all of the mechanics that we're coming across with like the lasers, the jammer, the cube, and whatnot, the fans, um, are carrying over from the first game. So it'll be really interesting to see if they like introduce like any new mechanics in um in this game. Like a lead. I just kinda wanna try that. I was like wondering if this was like a ledge that I could jump up on. It's probably too tall for me though. It looks like I can get like right there, you know? Maybe if I could like build some stairs or something. Hard to say. Okay, so um hmm. What are we trying to do? <laughs> now that I have this cube. Um I I can't get in here because of man. Got it. Got it. Okay. So if I just like were to theoretically do this. What are you gonna say about that now, fan? I don't think we have anything else to grab in here. Alrighty. Thank you, fan, for your services. GG Cube. We make a good team. And I think we just have one more yellow. Versatile contraption. Hmm. Oh boy, we're getting into the jammers again. That jammer is jamming that wall. Um, but... Hmm. Uh, so here's... Uh, I guess maybe where the versatile thing comes in uh, with this jammer, you know, we can sit it on the plate and jam it that way, but I can also like just jam it that way too. If I jam it like this way, could I grab it without being in there? No, I cannot. Well, um, oh, but you know, you know what I can do? We can put it on this platform and jam you. There's the versatility. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> Alrighty. Mm, I don't think anything in this corner. And we have this purple wall that I'm not going to be able to take the jammer out of. But, but, we could. We could. I put that like that. Will that... I was wondering if I could like jam this wall, but it doesn't seem like it's doing it through the gate. I was thinking that you could, but apparently not. Okay. But is there something else over there that can be jammed? Oh, 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 this. That is indeed something. <laughs> I couldn't see it because it was already being jammed. Mm, you're just a fan that's currently blowing? Yes, all right. So I'm going to grab you since this is jammed now from that one and we'll jam you and then find a new friend hello friend got all the yellows Excellent. i think i did just hear a gate go down yeah yeah it's straight in front of me <laughs> who would have thunk it all right i guess we'll now take these yellows to one of the other gates and oh boy see about getting some red ones this was maybe the yellow one here. It was. All right. Um, let's try you. Oh, cool. I am proud of all my children. Especially this one. Out of a world of ruins, they have built a new Jerusalem. And there, your brothers and sisters await you. To celebrate your birth. Hmm. He said New Jerusalem. Is that what he called it? Oh boy. And we're getting some connectors too. <sighs> Fundamental connections. So, we have a laser. We have a connector that is keeping open that... Um... That gate there. Keeping open that gate, okay. Well, while the gate's open, let's go ahead and take this connector, and I guess we really don't need that powered anymore. But I think we need to have it come around this way. We do, okay. So I'm just gonna plop you right there. Make sure there's nothing 
hiding behind the pillars. And then we will grab a, a you. And I'm gonna go over this way. We are going to connect, connect, and poop. There we go. Sweet, very nice. First red one. So it's been a really hot minute since I played the Talos Principle one. I want to say it was around the time that I first started creating content, and sadly this was like before I got into YouTube. It was uh, back when I uh, had just started like Twitch. I started streaming it over there. I want to say mm, maybe in 2019. So it's probably been a good like four years since I played, but I have seen other people play and their playthroughs since then. So I, I guess that's kept my mind like a little bit refreshed on, you know, the mechanics of the game and that kind of deal. Of uh, the Talos Principle one, that is. Not not two. I haven't seen any gameplay of this game because I, I really wanted to go in spoiler free since I was so excited for it. All right, so we have a connector up there that I don't think we're going to be moving anytime soon. And it already is connected to that endpoint over there. So what's going on over here? We have uh, this connector. Okay. Keeping open this gate. Hmm. All right. So basically, we need to supply power to this. Well, I was about to say we need to supply power to this connector. I mean, not necessarily. At, at, you know, at the end of the day, we just need to make sure that we have power supplied to this endpoint. But we're probably going to have to use this connector along the way. Like, I could definitely see the developers throwing, a, like, a red herring and just putting a connector there that would not be needed. But I don't know if I would suspect that, like, this early in the game. So. So. Oh. Uh, we will. <laughs> you. You. And you. Oh, oh, but I also need you, don't I? Okay, so we'll keep connections. I think I can reach all of that. I think that's doable. And now we should be good. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's just like so satisfying when you can reach all the things. Love that for me. <laughs> we uh, have three more red ones to go. And I think they were over here. Yes, okay. I do really appreciate that on the signs. They like cross it out when you've already done one. I tend to be very forgetful. Destructive interfa it, ooh, interference. So now we have a red endpoint and a blue endpoint. Do we need to power both to open things? Well, there's only way to, one way to find out, right? So let's uh, get our blue power where's my red power have we have we seen that yeah we have seen that don't mind me we'll take the red power and do that so it does indeed seem that we have to have both which you know makes sense i like this little alcove here with the, the flowers and the lily pads so precious okay and then i will take you again um, I guess the main thing is we just need to make sure that we don't cross wires. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try putting you there, and then we'll take you. I really have three connectors. For some reason, I was just thinking that I had two. <laughs> don't mind me. I guess I, I was about to say I guess we have to have three for uh for this. I don't know, maybe there would be a way to do it with just two. But I'm glad, I'm glad we have three at this point. <laughs> my, my brain still needs some warming up. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Red Sigil. Just love looking at the landscapes that they put together. 
They're absolutely beautiful. Okay, so uh, we go out here and go this way. And oh boy, oh this is looking fun. Two colors, two doors. Which is technically same as last one. We had two colors and two doors. So, I guess if we supply blue to this in addition to red, then we can get that sigil. But what's the caveat? There's always a caveat. We do have a connector just sitting willy-nilly over here. What you doing over here, connector? Just sitting all by your lonesome. It's a little silly of ya. Can we walk on the water? Oh, oh, we can. And we get water sounds? Ooh, I like. Hopefully the sounds aren't too quiet. I, I did, like, do, like, a little, like, test recording before. And, like, for me it sounded okay, but I know, like, <laughs> sometimes people refer prefer to have sounds higher. So, uh, if things are sounding too quiet for you and you want it louder in the next video, just let me know. And, uh, likewise, if things are sounding too loud, please let me know that, too. In the comments. So we have blue power supply here. I also have a cube. And what I'm thinking is that maybe, um, maybe the cube is going to be used so that we don't cross lasers. My is my thought. Um. Oh, we have to have that open for the blue, don't I? Okay. So I probably shouldn't have picked that up. Let's just do that again. Um, I will put that like so. Or maybe I should have, ooh. I was thinking to myself, I was like, maybe I should have that one elevated, but it might not matter. Okay, so let's just put you here and take this. Reach both of them. It will. Good. Good. Very nice. So yeah, we didn't like even need to touch the red connector at all on that level. So that was interesting. And last red one, we have Ascension Awaits. Oh boy. I'm so excited. So we have a cube. We have a fan. We have a connector. I can hit you to turn on fan. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm But I don't think I want to do that yet. I think what I want to do first is I want to put you on here and you. Boop. 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 And now we can do that. Here we go. Our last sigil. Do -do -do -do. Thank you, child. I have finished preparing your vessel. Now, hear my advice. A new world awaits you, full of dangers and mysteries, signs and wonders. Things that I, in my garden, could never have imagined. In that world, you will have to be careful and smart and curious. But above all else, you will have to be human. It's a little difficult for a robot. Okay. Uh, yeah, this one's definitely looking a bit trickier. I'm already not liking what I'm putting down. Um, something with that? I don't think so. Knew they were gonna get trickier. <laughs> um, mm. There we go. Alrighty. Elohim, I'm coming at you, man. I don't Stay think you're ready for me. Light, child. Awaken. 
Whatever happens, we're in it together. Lilith. Hmm. I do like that name, Lilith. Are you ready? Hope I didn't miss any stars. Oh, achievement! Ab initio? Finish the, collabor the calibration process. Ah, you're awake. Welcome to the world of the living. Uh, I think you and I have different uh, definitions of living. <laughs> I'm alive. What's going on? That's not an easy question to answer. But the first step is this. You've been born. Your body was completed. You were booted up, and now you're here. And rather confused. Don't worry. Very Everyone confused. Everyone is confused at first. You see, we all start out without a full knowledge of our own history. So we have the freedom to form our own opinions. I could really use some pointers. Of course. You want the short version or the long version? Uh, I'm I'm here for all the details. I'd like the long version, please. I want to know everything in excruciating amounts of detail. <laughs> I'll say the long version, please. So, a long time ago, our ancestors dominated this planet. We call ourselves humans like they did, but they were organic. They built an advanced technological civilization but unfortunately, their impact on the ecosphere caused changes in the climate, and an extremely contagious virus was released from the permafrost. Oh. And they have advanced medicine, too? That's something our historians still debate. Why did they invest so many resources into making war, and so few into useful research? But no matter the reason, in the end, they simply ran out of time. So, how are we here? A team led by a scientist called Alexandra Drennan began a project that was intended to create... well, us. But knowing that there wasn't enough time, Drennan initiated a process, a series of iterations inside a simulation that would lead to the emergence of true artificial intelligence. And it worked. It did. Long after our ancestors died out, the first new human was born. We call her the Founder, although the name she took was Athena. She then created more of us, using the tools left behind by Drennan's team. Eventually, they started building the city of New Jerusalem. And I'm assuming that Athena was us waking up at the end of the first game. What about me? Before the Founder vanished, she set a goal for this city. We call it THE GOAL. Capital G and all. To make 1,000 new humans, and so complete New Jerusalem. Oh, it was difficult, especially after she left us. But after a millennium or so, we finally succeeded. And that's you. You're and number me. 1,000. Oh, boy. Thank you. I think this covers the basics. Uh, so if I'm number 1,000, do you like I win like some kind of giveaway or something? You're welcome. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them. When you're done, head outside. They're waiting for you. Your birth is quite the event. So, like, something that, like is interesting to me already is that if you know we have if you know the original robots in the simulation like athena did success successfully like complete the simulation and enter the real world and like why are they having robots like me still do like the sigil puzzle simulations like what is our purpose going to be um, tell me about yourself. Me? Well, as you can tell by my number, I'm quite old. I wasn't one of the first companions, but I did know Athena personally. 
She and Cornelius taught me a lot. Although I suppose I've made a few improvements here and there since those days, we didn't have a lot to work with in the beginning. Will there be more new humans after me? I, I want to ask everything. You've only just been born, and already you step right into a major controversy. The goal, as most people understand it, was fulfilled the moment you were born. Now, New Jerusalem is complete, and we can live in balance, without damaging the world like our ancestors did. That's the orthodox view, I suppose. But there are many who disagree. Mm. You'll have to figure out where you stand for yourself. So, like she was saying, it's like a big like point of controversy right now. And like also that like New Jerusalem is complete, like with us, like the one thousand one thousand robots. So I guess like maybe there are some people who think like there should just be like a thousand, and then some people who think there should be more. Less? <laughs> Hopefully not less. <laughs> Uh, what happened to the Founder? No one really knows. At first, she was closely involved with everything that happened in the city. But gradually, she became more distant. And one day, she simply vanished. That was centuries ago. And was the, th was the Founder Athena? So, like, I wonder where she went. Who is Elohim? He spoke to me in my dreams. He was the caretaker of the simulation that created the Founder. When the simulation was completed, he became part of all of us. You will hear him whenever you enter sleep mode. Nothing to worry about, really. Mm, hold on, am I immortal? You won't age like our ancestors did, but of course, there is always some wear and tear. You should probably schedule a checkup every decade or so. Oh, and be a bit careful with water. <laughs> you won't die if it rains or anything, but we're running low on insulation material. Oh, okay. I wouldn't go swimming if I were you. Noted. What will you do now that your job is in obsolete? I feel like... I don't like the way that this is worded. Um, like... You know, in a sense, it almost feels like it's worded very robotically, which, you know, makes sense for them. I would probably, like, try to word this, like, a little bit more, um, gracefully. Um, you know, it's just like, you know, even though, like, she, you know, her original job might not be existent anymore, like, she still will hopefully, you know, serve, serve a purpose and, and find a new job, I hope. But I am curious. <laughs> I... I haven't really thought about oh. it. This is all I've done for the last few centuries. Gosh. I like doing it. I guess for now I'll just take a break and... We'll see what happens. I wonder if they have, like, emotions. Like, you know, if the thought of... Her... Losing, you know, what she's done for so many years makes her sad or anxious. Oh, one more thing. Like all citizens of New Jerusalem, you have access to the interface, which you can use to read the news, chat to your fellow citizens, and so on. It's a crucial tool, and modular too. You can easily add new functions. Just don't subscribe to too many newsletters at once. Fair enough. <laughs> Open PDA interface. Ooh. Welcome to New Jerusalem social media. Please familiarize yourself with the following rules. Read everyone with respect, regardless of their number. Don't take the Founder's name in vain. Respect the principles of the goal. There, the... Are frogs people discussion is now banned. <laughs> How long did they have this discussion for? Interactive threads will be archived, or inactive threads will be archived. And if you have any issues, please ping the moderators. Jeremy, who is number 832, Niam, who is 11, and Aranax, 430. Niam's been around for a hot minute. So I guess maybe this is the variant to in the first game where you had like your kind of like desktop computers, like monitors set in stone. Now we have like our own built in social media that we can access anytime, which is interesting. 
And this is the log of uh, the conversation that we just had with with Neath. Hopefully I'm saying her name right. Okay, all right, thank you for your help. Oh boy, we in this baby. So, um, now, that looks like so cool though, man. Um, I just wanna take all of this in because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to come back here. So neat. Um, oh, and when you step away from them, we can see their um their name and their number. He has like a like a you know like a no no symbol beside her. <laughs> I wonder what that means. Institute for Applied Nomadics E L facility. This already feels like so different than than the first game. Okay, I know there's an arrow pointing that way. Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything over here. This is locked up. Wonder what those machines are. This looks like a door that we might eventually be able to open. And a gate that's locked here too. Hmm. Okay, all right. Let's uh, continue on this way. Not let me run right now. No running inside apparently. Oh. Oh, is this the 1,000th celebration? One K. Hey, One K. Welcome to New Jerusalem. They all seem really Can nice. The mayor be starting his speech. Okay, maybe not that guy. This should be interesting. Byron. Give him a chance. And Alcatraz were their names. Dear citizens of New Jerusalem. Many years ago, when the Founder stepped forth from the simulation, this was a land of ruins. Number 452 is what his chest in their says. Hubris undermined the natural foundations on which their world had been built. Because of their arrogance, our species found itself on the brink of annihilation. The Founder aimed to set us on a new course. You never even met the Founder. Her vision was of a city, a new civilization that would know its limits. It would not repeat the mistakes of the past, nor impose its will on this Earth. To that end, she set the great goal we have been striving towards. One thousand new humans and today we have oh dear what's that what is that indeed people oh. of new jerusalem i am prometheus and i will reveal that which was hidden the flame has awoken and summons you who is brave enough to answer its call? We await you upon our island where... Curse you, Pandora. You will not chain me again. What the heck? Well, that's an intro. Prologue. Brave New World. Like... It's like, did he escape somehow and he wasn't supposed to, like, say that? Who was that guy? Uh, hello. Pretty quiet. I told you we should have investigated oh, those energy readings. And I told him there's something up with those structures. The mayor's just being oh. cautious. This isn't caution, it's stagnation. Exploration? Too dangerous. Won't Expansion? let me move right Too now. Too dangerous. We barely even scavenge anymore. You call it stagnation, I call it balance. And I call you an idiot. Here's a thought. Try to be a little more diplomatic when you talk to the mayor. <sighs> See what I'm working with here, 1K? I'm gonna need a fresh pair of eyes on this expedition. Someone who hasn't spent several centuries hearing about the goal and the founder and all that nonsense. If you're up for an adventure. I do indeed like adventure. I wonder like what we're what we're going to do though. Wow, 
they built all of this. The uh, first lady that we met when we came out of the simulation, she said, you know, since my number is so low, I've been here for like a while. I wonder like, like how long is a while? <laughs> Music is on point. Hey, we made it to wherever the heck this is. Is this New Jerusalem, I guess? Attend briefing. Oh, wow. This is Josephus, number 558. Ellie, um, the last couple people we've seen, they have that, like, red symbol above their head. I just wonder what that means. Be oh. Be constant. Remember the goal. Perfection is unchanging. Be humble. Recognize the limits. We are not above nature. Ooh. What's broken now? Yo, Fasafis, I don't like this man. I wasn't- I didn't sign up for a horror game. Alright, that, that better not happen again. <laughs> I don't feel real good about that. Oh, we're in an elevator. I thought this was like a door that was going to open. <sighs> oh. All right, listen up. I know you're all having fun down there, but the grid is overloaded again, so... So I'm just stuck in an elevator. You could switch off your personal consoles or your lawn mowers or whatever the hell you've all decided to switch on all at once. I might not be around to babysit you for a while, and you don't want stuff breaking while Pellegrino's in charge, do you? That's it. That's it. Don't worry, Wonka. I see you there in the elevator. Uh, I'll thank you. you. Again in a jiffy. <laughs> Great way to start life in the city, huh? <laughs> oh, man, is it a nice view? What the hell is a jiffy? These bloody language libraries. <laughs> Ow. It, it, like, they've gotta have been building this for, like, decades. Question is, how many? Hey, <laughs> okay. Um. This, that seems locked. Red means no, no. Okay, alright. Moving on. Be constant, remember the goal. We did see that one already. Humble, we saw that one too. This is. Hey, hold on there. Do Doge? Newbie, like the dog? Number 1000. Of course, their number is 666. I have a question. How does it feel to you to be born with a randomized psyche into a society of autonomous thinking machines which so much resemble their long extinct ancestors they've decided it's best that you're the last one ever made? It makes me feel... I don't believe in feelings. I'm just a machine. <laughs> it makes me feel hungry, confused, sad, worried. Angry, excited, calm, or curious. I would say one of these. I'd say excited. Why? I don't see a way to explain it. Because, all things considered, I'm lucky to be here to see this at all. I'm the last of us. I'm sure I'm going to be special somehow. By limiting our growth today, we're more assured of seeing tomorrow. I don't know where this quote came from, but because life has found a way. Look around, it's a robot city. What's there not to like? That, <laughs> that's kind of how I'm feeling right now. So the algorithm assigned you the optimism trait. If only we could all be so lucky. <laughs> now listen, this meeting isn't strictly happenstance. I had some friends. The kind of people who like to know what's going on with other people. They think you can help each other out. I'm curious to meet these people. 
not really interested in whatever this is. I will say I'm curious to meet these people. Of course you are. For the sake you of the lore. You know how to use the interface, right? I'll talk to my friends and see if I can't fly matchmaker. I'm assuming she's talking about and like the tab thing. Go, a word of advice. Not everything around here is how it appears. Oh, all right. Dodge? Doge? I'm not quite sure how to say it. Do Doge? <laughs> I think I'm gonna settle on like on, on Doge, but if anybody is watching and you know the proper way to pronounce your name, uh, please let me know. Or tell me how you pronounce it at least. Do please join us at the table. This is the guy that was making the speech. I would like to preface this meeting by saying I told you something would happen sooner or later and you didn't listen to me. And here we are. If we could focus on the issue at hand. The issue at hand is not this one thing, but this entire attitude that's taken hold. The world doesn't cease to exist when you stick your head in the sand, Herman. He's number or seven. Or dome, as it were. Let's not get sidetracked. We're here to solve this puzzle, not to discuss philosophy. Can anyone fill me in on what's going on? It's one of those things where, like, I don't want to interrupt them, but, like, I also have no idea what's going on. Of course. I'm sorry you've been dragged into this. I'm sure this sort of adventure is the last thing you were looking for on your first day. And I really didn't know what to expect, so, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with this. <laughs> I think this is fascinating. It's a little much, but I'd like to know more. I'll see this first one. Ha! See? A fresh mind is open to the possibilities. Yakut, I think it's time for the briefing. All right, here we go. Nice to meet you, by the way, 1K. Yakut. We first became aware of the site designated TTP2 during a scouting expedition about six months ago. It's a large island with a remarkably varied geography, and it looks like there are several artificial structures of some kind. We recorded extremely unusual fluctuating energy readings from somewhere in the middle of the island, but couldn't really make sense of them. I wanted to go and have a closer look, but the decision was made that it was too far and not relevant to the goal. Now it looks like whatever's on that island has reached out to us instead in the form of that projection. We may not be interested in the island, but the island is definitely interested in us. It sounds like a mystery worth investigating, and I do love mysteries. This sounds like a potential danger to the city. I like mysteries. I don't share your enthusiasm for the unexpected, but Byron has been requesting an expedition for some time now, and at this point I'm forced to agree that it's necessary. I agree. Then it's settled. The expedition is approved. Byron, you will be in charge. Al will be your second in command to ensure a balanced approach. You'll take Melville and Yakut as you requested, and if 1K wants to join you, that's fine by me. Yes, please. I'm in. I wonder what would happen if I said, sorry, oh, not interested. Come meet us out on the landing pad when you're ready. I do like Before that it gives you, you a bunch of options. So hastily, do consider exploring the city first. Oh? It is your home, after all. Oh? That's a good idea. Have a look around. See what you make of the place. Okay. All right. Join the expedition and explore New Jerusalem optional. Oh, I, I do love exploring. Oh. Okay, so we have our social media here. Completion day celebration. Herman Nubis, that was the guy that we were just talking to. Dear citizens of New Jerusalem, your hard work and faith in the Founders Division has finally paid off. At long last, the goal established so long ago will finally be reached. The 1,000th member of our family will be born, and our beautiful city will finally be complete. Uh, and then Jeremy says, as, as space at the dam is limited, tickets will be made available via a lottery system. Ooh. The celebration will also be streamed. How do I enter the lottery? Well, I guess that was for the viewing of like when I came out of the tunnel. Maybe that's what they were talking about. 
Um, uh, and this one is, what the fudge was that? Uh, bu 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 Budahis? I don't know how to say this name. I feel like I'm going to butcher a lot of these names. Seriously, what's the found? What well, the founder was that thing in the sky? We all saw that thing, right? I didn't accidentally turn on sleep mode while having Herman, uh, while Herman was talking, did I? I mean, it's always tempting. No, we all saw it. Can confirm. I believe it was a sign from the founder. What else could it be on the day of all things, of all days? Pretty incoherent, incoherent for a sign. I didn't even finish whatever it was trying, it was trying to say. What? Does the Founder have energy insufficient problems, too? Founder works in mysterious ways. Maybe it really was a sign. I don't think it was a sign. Hmm. Um. I'm... Hmm. I'll say I don't think it was a sign. Out of the mouths of babes. How could such a remarkable display of unimagined powers not be a sign? It's something, but not necessarily the founder. It could be a sign of life, but that doesn't mean it's intentional. It could be coincidence, a technological accident. Mm hmm. Leaning toward one of these answers. I'll say it's something, but not necessarily the founder. Sounds reasonable enough to me. Something weird is going on for sure, but what? We'll have to see. Riddles and puzzles are the foundation of a journey. So it began. Perhaps so it will continue. This is fun. <laughs> All right, and we have three um, pieces of research. This is a test, please ignore, from Melville. That was the one that we heard over the, the intercom in the elevator. Is testing the system to see if it works properly this time, so we don't have another incident like when Pellegrino uploaded his poetry to the public log. <laughs> I like the name. And then this is from Yakut. I think Yakut was the green one that we just met. The island. The island designated TTP2 was the first noted during the return journey from a scouting expedition, which was diverted from its intended path due to an unexpected weather front. Long-range scans indicated the presence of large artificial structures and also returned highly unusual energy readings. The matter was not investigated further. In ancient times, the northern part of the island was home to several large settlements, but rising sea levels have obliterated these and flooded the northern lowlands. The south, in stark contrast, seems to be a harsh and lifeless desert, our intended base camp is near the origin of the energy readings in the temperate center of the island. Hmm, I can't wait to go and check it out. Okay. And then we have from Alcatraz. Where are you? It's called Protocol, Chapter 5. Of Whittington's cat and another cat that visited strange countries. As no work about cats could be complete without the story of Dick Whittington from... These are the standard operating procedures for expeditions, just uploading them to remind Byron, who will probably ignore them anyway, attaching a picture from an ancient book to get his attention. Maintain the ideals of the founder and the goal, prioritize the well-being of the expedition members over mission completion, one expedition member to stay by the vehicle at all times. Expedition leader should refrain from participating in high-risk activities. Minimize vehicle use to conserve fuel. Prioritize observation over interference. And in case of emergency, return to New Jerusalem at once. So I guess this is like a like a, a page from an old book that they found during their uh, their um, excursions out into the to the vast unknown. I was wondering if this, the symbol on the left, if that meant we could write, but it doesn't seem like it's letting me do anything. Okay, uh, let me actually go back in here. Log. I guess this is just our conversations. I was more so um, interested to see if there was anything that we could view regarding our quest up here. 
Join the expedition and then explore New Jerusalem. That would be back that way. So I wonder if there are some doors unlocked that were previously previously uh, locked. Um, let's talk to Jeremy first. Hello, 1K. Hey, Jeremy. This expedition is taking a lot of our resources. I'm really not sure it's a good idea. But what's done is done. So I have a lot of work to get on with. Uh, who are you? I'm the mayor's chief aide. Okay. I think the mayor is that... the guy that starts with an H. <laughs> what do you do around here? All the things no one else wants to do. Polling the citizenry, implementing new policies, recording decisions, fielding questions people could answer elsewhere. What do you make of recent events? Our goal as custodians of New Jerusalem is survival and stability. Our ancestors proved human civilization is precarious. This apparition in the sky, and now your expedition to its supposed source, these are more precarious than stable. I don't like it. Um, what do you, th what, what do you think of me? <laughs> You represent the completion of the goal. I'm proud of what we've achieved, and the restraint we show in not pushing ourselves further. Uh, what do you want? For our people to be happy with what we have. Some of us may have an adventurous spirit, but that can never be sated. What matters to me is having my loved ones around me, safe and secure. Hmm. Thanks. I won't keep you any longer. So, like, you know, I was I was kind of speculating at first when we first started. I was like, mm, do these, like, robots, like, do we feel emotion? And, you know, he's mentioning, like, loved ones and stuff. So, like, I, I think emotions definitely carry over in uh, the, the process of, you know, the whole, the whole project that was started by Alexandra. So, yeah. And this is uh, Mr. H. <laughs> Does he, does he have anything more to say? Oh, there we go. What can I do for you, 1K? I really like his gold, like, etching on on his, uh, body. How did you decide to become involved in politics? It was a time of great uncertainty. The founder had left us, and our society was at a crossroads. I mean, like, let's be honest, History though. Like, if you've got a voice like that, like, you've got to be in politics. Times, terrible passions may seize the people. Madness, anger, revolution, civil war. Our fragile city could not afford such things. That is why the founder gave us the goal, a path to equilibrium, not only for the planet, but for ourselves. I merely picked up where she left off. Mm -hmm. Uh, how do you feel about Byron? I think Byron was like the red one. He is one of the first companions, and as such has done more for our city than you or I ever will. I'm... I simply wish he could be more reasonable. Mm -hmm. What's your vision of the future? I believe we can exist quietly, happily without imposing ourselves on this world, finding meaning within ourselves and in the natural miracles that surround us. So he's like the leader here in New Jerusalem, but he's also f number 452. So I wonder like, did they just like not have any leadership beforehand and run like willy nilly or? It's always a pleasure to speak to a citizen. Okay, all right. Well, uh, we've met a couple, hopefully, friends already. And we have a big new world to explore. We're going on an expedition. Um, but yeah, I think I would like to explore the world before we, we do go on that expedition, if we can. 
And uh, we will save that for episode two of The Doubtless Principle 2. Thank you so much for joining me for this first episode. It's been really interesting so far. Um, you know, like a lot of similarities to the first game with like the puzzles and the mechanics there, but also like very different. So I'm, I'm really excited to see where this is going to take us. And I hope to see you in the next one.